Typing is pretty hard. Now, if you've wanted to practice your typing, something that you've probably done is those online tests that give you the most common English words. But what if they weren't common? What happens if instead you practice advanced typing tests and how does that affect your typing speed? I wanted to know, so you're about to find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another challenge. So good to see you all and today we're talking typing. Now you guys have probably already seen, but I practiced my typing for 30 days straight and I made a video about it and you guys absolutely crushed it, which I'm so grateful for, but it's been a minute and I wanna take my typing to the next level. So I decided for another 30 days, I would dedicate 10 minutes per day to practicing advanced typing tests. If you haven't already seen the first video, I definitely recommend that you get up to speed. And if you already have, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is not make the same dumb mistake that I made the first time around. And I'm actually gonna capture myself taking the typing test the very first time. Now guys, if you thought the normal typing tests were difficult or frustrating, let me tell you, these advanced typing tests are some next level hot garbage. Like, let me tell you, I've never been so upset or angered at a set of letters on my keyboard. I mean, these tests are better at testing your patience rather than your typing. Because the fact of the matter is that at the very start, I was making a ton of mistakes. I don't know about this challenge, guys. Um, I've been at this for a week now, and compared to the first typing video, um, by the end of the first week, I'm pretty sure that I said that my progress was doing really well and I mean this time around I haven't even gotten out of the 50 words per minute range and that's definitely a lot to take in considering all the progress that was made in the last video and how quickly that all came um, maybe I'm just impatient I mean a week in and with such lack of progress I don't know I guess we're just gonna have to see and see what happens at the end of the month okay okay but my general frustration aside these tests as you'd expect, are so much more difficult. Like even after the first few days, I just realized that 100 words per minute was a little bit too ambitious. So I decided to aim for 80 words per minute as my goal. But you may be wondering, why are these tests so difficult? Other than the fact that they're called advanced typing tests. What makes them so hard? See, the words on these tests are uncommon enough that you don't actually have the muscle memory for them yet, but they are common enough that you can recognize them when you see them. So here's an example. If you want to type out the word eat, are you really typing out E-A-T? Or are you just going through the motions and just following your muscle memory that has memorized the actual finger movements to type out E-A-T? because there's a difference between that. Not only that, but trying to type these complex words and actually not going off of muscle memory showed me that I still had a lot of problems with my touch typing. Like for example, instead of using my fingers to reach for certain characters, I was instead moving my entire hand off the home row, which was just terrible for my accuracy. And something that I noticed was that I was still not taking full advantage of every single finger, especially the ring and the pinky. And this was really brought to light because a lot of these harder, more difficult words uses Q, Z, and the shift key, all keys that use those outer fingers. So if you thought that this would be just as straightforward as the normal typing tests, trust me, there are definitely more obstacles. But I still knew that this was possible. Okay, so I am officially halfway through this challenge right now, and I've gotta say that I am definitely getting some progress right now. I'm averaging around 60 words per minute, which is still not the best. I think I have to be a lot more intentional um, when actually typing. So because of that, I think I'm gonna focus on a lot more accuracy, and hopefully with that, um, my fingers can just pick up the pace. But um, yeah, let's just see what happens halfway there, 15 days to go or something. I don't know. Now, after completing this challenge, here are some of the tips that actually worked for me and some of the tips that I even told you guys that I don't think really work anymore. All right, so the first tip is to focus on your accuracy, especially with special characters. Now, this had such a huge impact for me because it's what allowed me to get over that plateau that I hit during this first challenge. Like, even if you just think about it, if you spend less time pressing the backspace key and repeating letters that you've already done, you can take that time and use it to just go forward in the test that you're doing right now. It kind of makes sense. The mistake that I made was that I didn't realize this sooner. Definitely don't underestimate your accuracy because this by far has the biggest impact on your typing speed. Number two, like I alluded to earlier, was to take advantage of every single finger that you have. Now, what I mean is that, for example, let's say that you wanna press the Q key. 
Now, what you could do is that you could shift your hand over a little bit, maybe press it with your ring finger if that's more comfortable with you. But instead, what you should do is that you should really practice trying to use your pinky finger. So that way your hand doesn't move off the home row. You don't lose that accuracy and it could actually make you faster because you take less time moving your ring finger to the keys that it has to take control of, like the W or the X. And that same key applies to every single finger. Basically, the less time that you can waste moving your fingers to keys that they're not supposed to be pressing and then having to reset every time, the faster it's gonna make you. And finally, my third tip for you guys is to concentrate. And this is actually a two-parter. The first thing is actually a tip that I gave you guys in my last video was to, you know, watch videos and do other things to make the typing experience more fun. And I do still believe in this to some extent because obviously you need to enjoy the typing process because if you don't, then it's just gonna be so much harder to get the practice in. But what I've come to realize as I've gotten faster is that I actually need to focus a lot more when I'm trying to actually be fast. And the second thing that I want you guys to concentrate on is keeping your hand in place and just moving your fingers independently. It's gonna be a little bit weird at first, especially when you have to hit keys like M and N, but like we talked about before, this is gonna make you faster over time because you're wasting less time moving your fingers from key to key. So I took all three of these tips and I started practicing relentlessly. And after 30 days, the highest score I could achieve was 79 words per minute, which is just so annoying because my goal was 80 words per minute and I just fell short by one word per minute. But obviously I could have cheated and I could have just gone for another day and said, oh, I hit 80, but I wanna keep it real with you guys and I actually missed my goal by one word per minute. And while it was disappointing, it wasn't actually bothering me too much because after this, something amazing happened. Let me give you guys some context. I was sitting in class, pretty bored, and I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna bash out some typing tests before I get home. And then in the middle of class, with my ergonomics terrible and not even trying that hard, this happened. So I'm just really happy with the results that came out of this challenge. You know, we came really close to our goal of 80 words per minute at 79 words per minute. And something that's even more exciting is the fact that we hit 100 words per minute. Okay, and real quick, I just wanna show you guys the progress that I made on the 10 fast fingers charts themselves. Uh, basically what I'm just showing you guys is that these ones on this side, they weren't that consistent. But then as we move past this midpoint right here, that is when the high word per minute scores started to become consistent. And with all that having said, this just goes to show how inconsistent and how uh, difficult this typing journey actually was. But that's not to say that we didn't make any progress. And something that I wanna quickly shout out is all of you guys, the comments that I got on the previous typing videos was just insane. I'll try to show some of the stories right now, but seeing all of your guys' progress was just really, really inspiring. And it just pushed me to go further through this challenge. Now again, I I feel like I didn't say this already, but I'm not the best typist out there. I know that I still have a lot of work to do and it's just been really fun sharing this journey with you guys and then you guys reciprocating your journeys back to me. It's pretty amazing the small community that we've already made and if you wanna see more typing videos just like this one, be sure to let me know. Now, if you've already watched this deep into this video, you basically have to subscribe. I mean, you've already watched this far, why not? It's gonna take you two seconds and while you're down there, make sure you like the video as well. And now that you have nicely left a like on this video, be sure to check out this playlist with all the other challenges that I have done because I'm going to be doing a lot more and I would love for you to be a part of that journey. Thank you guys so much for watching.